Well, tonight, the attorney of Carly Russell speaking out after a meeting with the Hoover Police Department about his client, Carly Russell, who recently faked her own disappearance. WDHN's Robert Smith Jr. joins us live in the newsroom with more on the story that is continuing to gain statewide as well as nationwide attention. Robert, what did her attorney have to say today? Yeah, hey, Mike, Russell's attorney did confirm that he expects charges to be filed against his client for faking her own disappearance. Now, this morning, Emery Anthony met with the Hoover police chief, Nick Derzis, about his client, Carly Russell. This comes after a press conference on yesterday when Chief Derzis read a statement from her attorney, Anthony, stating that the 25-year-old nursing student was not abducted along the highway of I-459 in Hoover the night of July 13th, and she did not see a child walking along the interstate. Today, the meeting with the police department was short and a productive one. It's a great meeting, a short meeting, just to try to identify some things about where we go from here, uh, responsibilities that we need to take care of. Uh, but it was a great meeting, and I want to commend the Hoover Police Department and the Chief of Police uh, for their action and how they have handled everything. So hopefully we can get through to the end game, as they say, of this particular thing. Now, Anthony says he always wants to make sh sure his client is taken care of as she is dealing with some issues. He also he also asked for prayers for them all, including the police department at this time. Stay with WDHN as we continue to follow this case on any new developments. Mike. All right, Robert. Thanks so much.